60 second ethics lesson. What's one behavior you wish you could change in your organization? What is your ethics lesson to change that behavior? My one behavior I would change within our organization is that of silos, protecting the silos within the organization. When we are more open and collaborative, that gives everyone an opportunity to learn from each other and to also boost our capabilities because we're drawing on all of our strengths and all of our experiences. And that carries over to what we do for our students because we're a university and what we do with our strategic partners, corporations like yourself. Work together to not silo work so that it's all one organization and we need to work together. I think people just want to own things and it's hard to give up a little bit of control to someone else so that it flows better. It's, it's usually, okay, I built this, this is my, my responsibility, so I tend to, to hold it tight and not share information. Well, first the behavior will be to change this silo mentality of people who think that my own fiefdom is the thing that I'm in charge of, my own fiefdom is the only thing that matters without embracing the spirit of collaboration and cooperation with uh, other individuals in the organization. They leave themselves open to a great deal of trouble when they go that route. What's uh, one behavior you wish you could change in your organization? Just the resistance to change. People are not willing to get out of the comfort zone, the resist to new technologies, and resist to new change. So getting in their mindset to be comfortable with change and uh, helping us move forward in organization. Uh, How do we do that though? I mean, and why are people so resistant? It's crazy. I think you have to dumb down a complicated topic to a point where people understand it, let them feel that they're part of the conversation, they're part of the journey with you, rather than you saying, hey, you have to do this, no ifs, no buts, just go ahead. Communication, we're working on communication. People want to share certain information, but want to exclude others. Like, you gotta work together. Um, everybody has a little piece of the puzzle, and all together we make the whole picture. My, my spiel is Jurassic Park had really crappy compliance. They had lots of good things in place, but they didn't work together and make sure that they had everything implemented, a seamless product. We can do that. We can do better. And how do we break those walls down? I drop in people's offices randomly. I'm like, hey, how's it going? How are you? Where are you from? What are you doing? Same thing I'm doing here. I'm just really excited. I won't say that I wish I could change it, more so improve it or enhance it. I would love to create a more robust culture and speaking up because I think a lot of employees have many things to say. They're talking to each other and not to compliance or ethics professionals where they can get some really good guidance, some insight, some feedback on how to deal with like some dilemmas, conundrums before it bubbles and becomes a major issue. So I would love to enhance the speaking up culture, which is tied to psychological safety for many, many people in the workplace. All right. Six Let's do it. Let's do it right. All right, 60 second ethics lesson. What's one behavior you wish you could change in your organization and the lesson to drive that change? That I'm not responsible. And the lesson to drive that change would be everybody's responsible. Everybody plays a role. Everybody needs to do their part. It's not just the compliance team. It's not just the ethics team, but everybody plays a role because that compliance and ethics team, they can't see everything. But those who are doing the work every day, they know what's going on. They are the ones that are on the ground, boots on the ground, they can see everything. So they need to understand that they too are a part of the solution. Otherwise, they are the problem. You can't do it all on your own? No. I love it. <laughs> Stay tuned for more.